my crafty friends. Thanks for joining me. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. This is Jackie from Jackie's Craft Table. Today we're going to be playing with Simon Says Stamps March card kit. This one has the most adorable bunnies in it, a lot of bunnies, and it's called Hoppy Days Ahead. I'm going to do a quick unboxing to show you what's included in the kit, and then we'll get into the card projects. You get a mesh zipper pouch. I love that they're starting to include those. I use them a lot in my craft room. Now let's pull all of the goodies out of the bag and I'll show you what's inside. Let's take a peek at the kit contents page and it always has some beautiful examples that you can follow along with. This kit is perfect for your spring themed cards as well as Easter cards if you like to create some Easter cards. So you always get a lollipop, and this time you get some Craft Tacky glue. I've used this before. It's really nice glue, so I was glad to have some more glue. You get a little ink blending brush. I have a bunch of these in my stash, and I love this small size. And this is nice because it comes with a little cap that you can protect the bristles with. Or whatever container you're putting it in. My containers can get pretty dirty. I just keep them in little boxes in my drawer. You get some little puffy cottontails and a button. Here is a cloud stencil. You get the negative and the positive piece to this stencil. And let me put it in front of this envelope so you can see it better. And talking about envelopes, you get a slimline envelope. I love this green color. You get some positively saturated ink in sea foam. Here are a couple of watercolor cards. All you have to do is color them in with a medium of your choice. You get some cut apart sentiments. These all have to do with bunnies. And then you get two more A2 sized envelopes. Here is a $5 off your next purchase code. It's Tweet42. And then you get some really pretty pattern paper. I'll show you the fronts as well as the backs of these. I really love the oranges and the whites and the blues together. This is from Paper Rose and it's called Wildflower Field. You get six sheets of those and then here is the adorable bunny stamp set. There are so many bunnies in this set and I love how they are drawn. And you get a lot of sentiments as well as little flowers and smaller images to put around your bunnies. They included three sheets of cardstock. This first one is cornflower, and then the gray one is smoke, and then the third one is lavender. Oh, I'm sorry, a fourth piece, and that one is white, very heavyweight white. I use that for my card bases. For card number one, I'm going to use this piece of pattern paper, and since it is a six by six sheet, I'm just chopping it in half, and I can create two cards with this if I want. I'm going to use the cornflower cardstock to cut out a mini slimline panel. I'm using some Spellbinders dies. I'll have them linked in the description box below. I'll have everything linked as usual. But I'm going to cut out this piece with the blue cardstock. I'll just cut it down a little bit so I can run it through my die cut machine. I like this die because it cuts little holes around the perimeter of the cardstock. And here it is. I'll use a little bit of dot liner to attach this to the cornflower cardstock. I'm going to create a portrait orientation card with this. I like the flowers coming off the side of the card. However, it would be really pretty as a landscape card as well. This is going to be a very simple card. I'm going to stamp my sentiment up at the top. And the sentiment is going to say, thinking of you, and I'm using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp this, and I did stamp it up a couple of times to get it good and dark. I want to stamp out another sentiment on this card. I stamped it already, but I didn't like the look of it there, so I'm using some grapefruit ink to create my own colored cardstock. I allowed that to dry, and then I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says, Wishing I Could Hug You, right in the center of this ink. I really love the new Simon Says Stamps Positively Saturated inks. I have one set of them, and I believe there are like two more out there to collect. I'm going to pour over some white embossing powder. 
I'm using a piece of type paper to catch the excess of powder. And then I'll allow my heat tool to warm up for a minute, and then I can melt this. I pulled out my banner dies. I've had these forever. They're from Simon Says Stamp as well. And I'm going to cut out the sentiment using one of the banner dies. This has some stitching around it too, which I really love. I'll cut this down so I can run it through my sidekick die cutting machine. I love this little thing. I just keep it on the desk next to me. And then I can just quickly cut this out. My plates are very well used, but you can just keep using these plates over and over. Okay, so here is the sentiment. And this orange ink just matches perfectly with the orange flowers on this card. It didn't quite cover up the sentiment I had stamped the first time. I'm going to cover it up with a strip of the cornflower cardstock. I will cut the edge of this in a banner in just a minute. I popped up my sentiment with some foam adhesive. I used one of the pieces of pattern paper to cut out another little embellishment, this little flower that I'm gluing down onto the banner. For a pop of sparkle, I added some orange gems, and that's all there is to card number one. Very simple, but I love the colors of this card. And since I have that leftover three by six piece of pattern paper, I could make this exact same card over or change it up a little bit. For card number two, we're going to stamp up a bunch of these adorable little bunnies. I'm using some Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. I do stamp them up several times, but I'll only show one stamping. This ink is great for alcohol markers. So I pulled out a bunch of my Copic markers, and I'm going to do some very simple Copic marker coloring. I always like to use the R11 for the ears of bunnies. It's just a very pale, soft, happy pink. I'll color in this bunny's ears as well, since I have this out already. These are such small spaces that I have to use the very tip of the marker, so I apologize that my hand is kind of in the way there. This time I'm going to use some warm grays. I don't often use my warm grays. I usually use my neutral grays. But I'll start with a W0, and this was just a little bit too pale to add shadows to this bunny. So I'll come back in with a W1, but I just wanted some very subtle shading. Sometimes I can go overboard with the grays and they end up looking like gray bunnies instead of white bunnies. So here is the W1 and I'm just going down the side of the bunny's head and then up the sides of the ears. This paper I'm using is Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. And I like to use the lighter weight. The Copic markers seem to blend really nicely on this paper. So I'm adding some shading under the bunny's neck and around one side of its body. I'll even add a little bit of shading to its tail and under the bunny's arms. I will be fussy cutting out these images with my scissors. I don't have the coordinating dies to this and I believe they are available. The 80 pound cardstock makes it easier to fussy cut out as well, I find. Once I put in my shadows with the W1, I'm coming in with the W0 to soften them a little bit. I'll color in the carrot with a pale orange. This is a YR02, and then I'll add a little bit of shading with orange. And this is a YR68, I'm just adding a little touch of shading to it. The top, I'm just going to use one green Copic marker to color in the greenery at the top of the carrot. This is a G14. This is a nice light green. I like this marker. I'll pull out the R11 again to add rosy cheeks to all of the bunnies. And then this is where I come in with my RV13. Just add a little bit of shading to the base of their ears. 
I'm just kind of flicking the color upward. I'm not getting a perfect blend. So here they are all ready to fussy cut out and put on the front of a card. I'm going to create a regular Simlane card for this second card. And these are some dies from Trinity Stamps. And it creates this cute stitched window. I'm using more of the Cornflower Blue cardstock. I like this cardstock. It's really pretty. And my card is going to measure 8.5 by 3.5. But I wanted to add some color in these little squares. So I pulled out some Twisted Citron. And this is just going to go at the bottom of the squares to indicate a little bit of spring grass. The Distress Oxide inks are great because they sit on top of the paper. And it looks nice and bright. So I'll do this to all three of them. I'll speed this up. But I love the green and the blue together. It looks so pretty. OK, now I can start putting my card together. So I'm going to use my dot liner. This dot liner came from a previous Simon Says Stamp card kit, and I'm really liking it. And then I can just attach this to my white card base. And the white card base is made from 110 pound Nina Solar White. I like a nice heavyweight card base. I got a little lotion grease <laughs> on my card at the bottom left. So I am going to have to hide that with either a sentiment or a gem or something. I'm going to glue in the squares down flat with some liquid glue. I was debating whether to pop these up with some foam strips. However, I decided to use some foam pieces behind my bunnies instead. But let's tape this card down so it stays flat for me while I'm assembling all of the little bunnies on this card. So I'll start with the middle window first. I'll pop up this bunny in the center. And it looks like he is smelling a little flower, but I'm going to glue the flower down flat. I'll pull out my tweezers to help me with these really small pieces. Now for the top square. Again, more foam tape behind the bunny. This one is so cute in the sitting position. I don't know which one is my favorite. They're all so adorable. I'll put a little bit of liquid glue and glue the heart down flat. And now for the third bunny. And there are sentiments that match each and every bunny. So that is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to stamp out a bunch of these coordinating sentiments. And I'm stamping them onto a piece of 80 pound Nina Solar White using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I cut around these and popped them up with some more foam strips. And then for the first bunny, it says, you are some bunny special to me. The second one says, always stop to smell the flowers. And the third one says, I carrot wait to see you again. I'll add a few pink enamel dots. And here's a close up look at the finished card. It's kind of hard to show close ups of slim line cards on camera. So I'll do a scroll up <laughs> of the three bunnies. I love that little pop of green behind them it makes such a big difference on this card. So let's do a little more stamping for card number three. This one is going to be an A2 sized card. And I'm using more 80 pound Nina Solar White cardstock. I like this bunny that is kind of looking over its shoulder. And then the sentiment I chose says, Some bunny loves you. I also stamped out some grass and flowers. So I'll do the same thing with the bunny. I'll color in the ears with an R11 and then bring in the darker pink for the shading. And then I'll pull out my warm grays to color in the shading on the bunny. The flowers I'm coloring in very simply. They're so little, but very well drawn. They're so cute. Do different colors on all of the flowers. And then I'll, I pulled out my G14 again just to color in all of the greenery. 
I'll even add a little bit at the bottom just to extend the grass a little bit. And then again, I'm just adding shading to the side of the bunny, to the ears. And then I'll blend it out with the W0. The white pom-poms from this kit would look really cute on this bunny, but I didn't want to add that much dimension to this card. I'm going to be milling this one out, and I didn't want the little tail to fall off. So let's try out this stencil. I used some of the smoke cardstock from the kit. I cut it down to five and a half by four and a quarter, and I pulled out my white unicorn pigment ink. I'm going to add some clouds all over this panel. I'm just kind of pouncing it on. I taped the stencil in place. Then I can shift it and use the smaller cloud. I like the shapes of these clouds. They're really cute. We'll put this to the side of the first cloud. And then just pounce on a little bit of the white ink. I'll add another piece of tape below it just to protect the cardstock. So I'm creating my own pattern paper here, but I just love the white and the gray of this panel. And here it is all done. I used a semicircle die from Sunny Studios to cut this out, and I'm going to pop it up with some foam strips. I'll put this at the bottom corner and start adding the grass. I do wish that I had blended on a little bit of blue ink behind the grass and the bunny. The grass I'm gluing down flat, and then I'll pop up this bunny with some foam pieces. I'll adhere this bunny right next to the purple tulip, and then I need to pull out the green Copic marker just to hide that gap. The sentiment I wasn't sure where to put. I was going to put it on the semicircle, but I decided to put it up at the top of the card. Then I can glue on the red hearts. I'll use the hearts in place of any sequins or gems. And it just adds a pop of color to this card. I love it. After I have the hearts all positioned, I'll attach this to a white card base. Here's a close-up look at card number three. This was a really fun card kit to play with, and I have a lot of supplies left from this kit, so I do need to make up a bunch more cards, but I ran out of time this week, so that's why I only created three for you this time. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for spending some of your time with me today. Take care, everyone. Bye.